Hi guys, my name is Niti and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting vlog. This was a late night decision and I think it turned out great. It wasn't fun for me to film it but it kind of served its purpose. So you know and I were just chatting one night and we we're talking about books that really annoyed us and you can probably tell by the title we came up with this idea where we would each recommend books to each other that we really hate and we know that they would hate and we figured we'll just do like a, a fun video of it and he's gonna film one on his channel and I'm gonna do um, one here for you to see so basically it's gonna be him recommending me two books that he knows for a fact that I will hate and they would annoy me and I did the same on his channel you can check it out I'll leave the link down below now let's start the vlog and get into the video okay so he sent me the video I'm gonna watch it now and react live I don't know what he's what he recommended uh, but I can't wait to watch it so I'm gonna watch it now and you will see my reaction I'll put the video I'll put his video on the screen so you can see it as well. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I I like this challenge, but I'm also afraid what he's gonna what he's gonna give me because he knows the shit I don't like. Okay, here we go. Hello, Zini. I uh, made my two picks, and I'm positively sure that you're gonna hate them. Oh, uh, you know. So, but I am being very generous here. I'm picking books that I oh. Uh, I'm picking a book that I enjoyed once, uh, so you know, so I'm at least giving you a chance at happiness. See, this is the problem, right? <laughs> if it's a book that he likes, chances are I'm either not gonna like it or I'm just gonna be very meh about it. And now I feel bad for picking books that I really hated for him to read. Because I picked the books I really hated and a book that I DNF'd. But okay, can continue. Yes. Please don't say he knows his legends. It's the first book I want you to read it through. Oh my house. god. This is the last book of the series, but you know, I still don't have the first book. This should survive, so please, you know. So the first book you'll be reading is Throne of Glass. Uh, this is Inosh and Aisha taking revenge because they've been hounding me to read this Throne of Glass ever since I read Akata and hated it. They're like, no, I'll read this because this is a great book. This is a and I just I said I'll read it, but I don't know. I wasn't planning to getting planning on getting to it anytime soon, but okay. I think you would really hate it because <laughs> it's full of plot holes, the writing is mediocre. Um and you know, and it has a soul reading protagonist who thinks it's fun to be not like other girls. Oh my god. And all that shit. So, you know, I'm hundred percent sure you're gonna hate this. But I enjoyed it. Once upon a time, this hoe. Or plan of revisiting the book. But you know, I'm gonna live by Kyrie with you. The next book I've chosen for you is I don't think I don't have a book in hand right at the point. It's uh, Devil Wears Prada. Uh, oh! The same as the movie by Lauren Weisberger, I think. It was terrible. <laughs> like, oh my god. I really had such a bad reading speed. Okay, I already know I'm gonna hate it because I actually have, I think I have the book. It's not even on my shelf, it's on the living room on this other shelf that I throw all the books that I don't like. <laughs> I remember trying to read it um, years ago and he's right, it's, it was terrible. Why are you making me revisit it? Yes, uh, but it was actually terrible so, you know, I'm feeling glad as I recommend those two books to you. Have a nice time reading, Lily. Bye. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So I told him I'm going to read two books. And he can read three books because he reads faster than I do. So if you want to see the books that I recommended to him, it's going to be on his channel. I'll link it down below, uh, his vlog. So yes, let's start this, I guess. I kind of want to go the extra mile and buy the book, Throne of Glass, because I think I have Devil Wears Prada and 
I think I read like, I don't know, a chapter or two before I um, put it down because I just couldn't handle it. Uh, and that was a time when I actually enjoyed uh, books like that, so I don't know. <sighs> God. But I must say, he picked some good... Those are two books that I would probably never have read. So, okay, let's give it a try. I think I'll start with Devil's Prada because I have that. And then Throne of Glass will be next. How sleepy I am. <laughs> this is a this was a bad idea. This book is so fucking boring. I'm. Uh, I had to stop myself. I, I was literally falling asleep because. Look at this. Okay? Look at all this. Look at all this. All of this. That's just description, and. What is it? What is she describing? Nothing. Not a single thing in these pages were informative in any way, except for the fact that she's complaining and she's just noticing people and noticing buildings and describing what they look like. Like I get it. It's a building. I get it. She's pretty. They're thin. They work in a fashion magazine. What? You couldn't say all that in like. I don't know, half a page. It's terrible. It's such a... Oh my god. Such a Karen book. You know? Like, this white chick talking about white shit. I have to keep credit to Inosh for actually picking a good book that's definitely gonna annoy me because I... I'm texting him left, right? <laughs> Why? What is, this, what is this garbage? Like, how... Also, how is the movie so good? Like, I feel like it's... The, it's the actors, it's Anne Hathaway, Meryl Streep, Emily Blunt, so like those three are what made the movie, so without it, there's no way this movie would have been as good as it was. Like I said, I love it. I love the movie and I can't believe that came out of this. I'm only in chapter three, right? No, it's chapter two. Like the, the entire first chapter was just a hug, something with a cat and and the second chapter is still about how she got the job. Like, man, come on. Get to the point. Unbelievable. I kind of want to download the movie and watch it. But maybe I'll watch it as my reward, you know? After I finish this book, I'll watch the movie so that I can, I can end it in a good note. Because this is horrendous. I would have DNF'd this. Like, I, I was right. I, I couldn't get past through the first chapter the first time I read it. So I just DNF'd the book. But yeah. It's still the same, still just as bad. It's even it's even worse now because I keep noticing these things that I really don't like. Uh, there's a lot of um, white supremacy going on here and it's clearly written by a rich white woman. Then I saw this and I was like, yeah, I was right. There's nothing to tell about this book, okay? I <laughs> Do you know this story? It's about this girl who wants to be like a, a journalist ends up working at a fashion magazine um, under this horrible boss and yeah that hasn't even happened yet like I mean I don't know I, I'm kind of waiting for that part to start but it was still in the interview process and I'm like my god do you really have to describe all this Stay done this book. 
I couldn't read anything today because as you as you saw, I went out with my friend um, and we had like a really fun time just trying out food. We do this thing where we every month we like um, plan ahead and we decide on like this really nice place to go out and eat and we like we have like a long lunch or whatever the meal it is. We're just gonna like stay there. We talk, we chill, and yeah, it was just I I love it. We've been doing it for like, um, we've done it twice now and we kind of want to keep it going. So it's like a tradition that we have now. So it's really cool. I, I love doing it and she loves doing it. So I wasn't planning on going out anywhere this weekend. I wanted to like stay in and read, but then I was planning to read some um, pages before uh, I went, but then I got up late and also uh, started watching this series called The Stranger. I, I think I watched like one and like half of an episode before I had to go. It's really good. I So yesterday, I didn't read anything because I binged another series called Stay Close, um, which also starred uh, Richard Armitage and it's a Harlan Coburn thriller, which was terrible. I didn't like it at all. But I finished it because this book is just way too boring for me to care about it. But I'm reading it too, so it, it's fine. It's not as bad as the beginning. It's still... See, what I don't like about it... Okay, wait. One thing at a time. <laughs> this is my, this is how my brain works. Okay, I, I keep saying something and then it goes to like a different topic. About the TV show, Stay Close was ter. It was terrible in the sense that I couldn't really care about these characters because things were happening way too fast. And also, I don't like it when a book is written purely for the purpose of making it intense and like with all this like very ominous background music and just very very intense emotions and glares that these characters give each other which turn out to be basically nothing in the end so anyway so that tv show i didn't really like but i also wanted to but i really like richard um richard armitage's uh, performance so i like him so i wanted to watch something else uh, of his and i saw that uh, he did another adaptation of harlan coburn's called the stranger and that I'm only on the first episode and that is so much like so far it's way better than stay close so I'm gonna continue that I might watch it with the nose tonight but until then uh, I'm gonna read this book hi guys it is Monday we it's a holiday and I spent very about like three hours uh, today Finishing this goddamn book. This is one of the worst things I've read in a long time. And good as to you, Inosh. I absolutely hate it. And I'm not gonna lie. I sometimes I just like skip through like the paragraphs. Cause I I was so tired of reading this book and not getting anything out of it. You're just reading paragraphs upon paragraphs and what am I getting out of it? nothing not a single thing i think you need to read this to understand what i'm saying because this entire book is just a day in the life repeating over and over again there is nothing constructive there is nothing substantial about this story except that this girl goes to work comes home whines about it talks about all the fancy things that she gets to do at work and then just meets her friends meets this guy this publisher and that's it they have relationship problems. That's the whole story. And where is Miranda? Like the beautiful Meryl Streep who brought this amazing character to life? Nowhere. I don't see... The Miranda Priestley we see in the movie <laughs> is a completely different person to what the, the, this, this shit of a book. Okay. That person is not here. I was waiting for their interactions and I don't get them. Like hats off to the director and the actors who made that movie. It's actually one of my favorite movies because I watch that all the time. I have never had the need to read the book because that movie in itself was so satisfying. I didn't feel like I'm missing anything, you know, when I watched the movie. So that's why I never picked this book up after DNFing it before. So this just solidified that I made a good decision years ago. To DNF it because I told you like I, I haven't I don't read books that I don't like anymore I just, like I make sure that whatever I read is something that I know I will enjoy or at least be able to get through and like read it properly but no 
this is it's been a while since I've hated a book this much and anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about this because I gave this one star and that's only because I don't want to not create this book like if I could go lower like give it like 0.1 star I would give it because this is just, this is just a terrible book nobody should read this book so I mean things can't get any worse than this but yeah the next one yeah you don't recommend it is Throne of Glass so I'm gonna pick this up and start I I'm pretty sure this is not as bad as that one it's <laughs> it's not it cannot be I do enjoy Sarah's writing so I don't think I have no idea what this book is about I have never picked up Throne of Glass I've never had the need to pick it up I had a fun reading Silver Flames and The Court of Mist and Fury but I didn't like the other two so I will I think I will continue to read her books it's just because it's just a fun time like it's easy it's there's nothing to get out of it you know but it's just like fun it's muddy so I wouldn't mind reading it so this I don't think anything I don't think things can get any worse than this it just cannot it's impossible think of any book that I read that was worse than this so one of the worst if not the worst book I have read in my life oh I think Slater was bad I didn't like Slater at all that was another book that was like just poured the shit out of me slated uh, the shadow hunters <laughs> so okay there are books there are books it's just that i haven't read them in a while so i don't know i just can't remember anyway can pick this up um tomorrow i have to go to work so hopefully i can uh, breeze through this at least 50 percent today so i can finish it soon so let's see hey guys an update on turn of glass i did start it and <laughs> Things are getting really difficult now because I actually haven't read in two days. Uh, well, not two days. Well, yeah, technically two days because it's Wednesday night and I'm just starting. Because the thing is, um, this book started off great, okay? I don't know why. It's just now I'm just not feeling it every time I pick this up I don't want to do I don't want to read this I just want to I keep getting distracted but the first few chapters were really good I really liked Celia and I really like Kale but I, I don't know maybe maybe I need to like uh, skip a few paragraphs and just like, I keep reading the same I keep reading the same part over and over again and just like I'm like I'm on chapter 10 now and it's based I mean you know the story of Throne of Glass like it's just a an assassin who's been in prison for a long time and the king asks her to come to the palace one time and then offers her her freedom if she completes in this championship so I don't know that's still that part of it and then just like I'm getting so many um, Akata vibes where like she goes to the castle and then just like start dressing up and like talks about how great it is and all that like it's just it's very boring <laughs> that part I don't I want something to happen and like thinking about it now it's just I really like Keol and I want to read more of him and I want to read Keol and Selena together I don't I don't know what's gonna happen I, I feel like like it's not that I don't I like them as like a couple or like anything like that it's just like I really like them as characters and I like it when they interact so I do want to see where this book goes, but then I, this is what I thought to myself. I'm just I'm not gonna force myself to finish this book just because we're doing a video because I know you know it's just struggling too. So I'm just gonna read this till Friday because I have to edit this video and put it up on Saturday. So by the time I mean by when Friday rolls up, if I'm not finished with this book, I'm just gonna DNF this. I'm not gonna continue this again maybe I'll maybe I'll pick it up later on I have no interest in reading this book right now so it's just I don't know what it is when I, I maybe it's the it's the YA writing style I don't know I think Akata was better I maybe I, I think Akata was better because I had the audiobook it was easy to read it while listening to it so that I even when I'm distracted the the story kept going but it's just like this book is not available on script for me to listen so I'm forced to read it which I just don't
don't have the, the will to do. I mean, that's it. Basically, I, it's just it's all I have to say about this book. I also made like popcorn today, which like just it burned. Like popcorn is one thing that I can't make properly. I don't know what I'm doing. I googled it and I just gotta try a different way this time. But yeah, had some burnt popcorn. Now my my jaws are hurting from chewing too much. <laughs> Other than that, yeah, that's the update. Like work has been going going great, so I've had time to read and like that that's also the problem but i can't blame this on work right it's just i'm not as busy as i was last month so there's nothing stopping me from reading when i come home but somehow <laughs> i can't read this also i want to mention aisha i got this from her by the way like she i borrowed her throne of glass because i was planning to buy the book um if you remember like early in the clip by early in the video i said that i'm gonna buy the book but it wasn't available, it was out of stock uh, at Expo Graphics when I placed the order, so I asked her if I can borrow her book and she very generously gave it to me. But anyway, what I was getting at was that, um, now that you know like I'm moving, I can talk about it, but she gave me, she sent me this really sweet housewarming gift. I don't have it with me right now, I'll probably show it um, when, I move, when I've moved because it's packed and I don't want to unwrap it again, but it's, it's such a lovely gift and... It's from the heart and it's something like she knows me so well that it was, I I felt really touched. Like you paid attention to the things I said and it's just yeah. It's really it's a nice feeling when your friends know you and do something like that for you and it made me really happy. <laughs> so far that is the update. I'm planning to read at least one or two chapters tonight before I go to bed. 744 now might read for like an hour and then go to bed and then let's let's just see how this goes this is like a very realistic this is a very real blog okay just because like we challenge ourselves to read these books doesn't mean we can actually end it because you have no idea no that's not true we probably have an idea to read a book that you don't enjoy or like you're just reading it for the sake of reading it or you're reading it because you bought it and you don't want to waste your money but it's just it's hard man <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's it for this update. I'll come back when I have more things to say. Okay, peeps, it is 11.30 on sun Saturday morning. So I need to edit this video and I did edit up until this point and I realized that I don't have an intro or an outro and I haven't given you my final thoughts on this book. So here you go. I'm not gonna finish this. I got up to chapter 20 which is a lot because I found an audiobook on YouTube for this and it was fine like I think it was like an audible version or something but yeah I, I, I read up to like yeah I read this much of the book and no it's not because it's a bad book right this book is so much better than Devil West Prada so maybe if I had started with this I might have finished it and DNF the devil was part of but this one I just I, I only honestly I'm just running out of time and I just can't be bothered to continue with this to the next week because I really want to read the book that I'm reading right now which is King of Scars and this is a typical 2010 YA right I think this was published in 2012 or something so nothing like I said 20 chapters in we're still at the point where it's just her getting to know these people, getting to know these characters, which I'm sure and I believe will be important in the long run because it's a series. I get all of that and I was told that the books get really good after the third one. So, and I just, this is not enough for me to want to continue to read two more books before the story gets better. So, I'm not attached to these characters because, um, when I first read Akata, I wanted to read it because I wanted to get to Silver Flames. And that did not disappoint. I actually liked it. And it had, like, the second book so it was immediately better right after the first one. So, but the fact that I had to read three more books like this to get to, like, um, a better story is not worth it for me. So, maybe I'll pick this up later. But for now, I will be DNFing Throne of Glass. I'm sorry, Aisha. <laughs> 
this is her favorite series she really loves it so i wanted to like it too but yeah i just i can't so that is it let's roll the outro okay hi it's me again so it is the end of the vlog i did manage to finish the devil was prada one of the books one of the worst books i've ever read and then i'm gonna dnf throw off glass it was really fun for us to talk about this and do it together we've always wanted to do a video together so hopefully next time we can do one where we're both in the screen if you like this video give it a thumbs up and i will see you very soon with the next video bye bye